Okay, yeah, welcome back guys. So today we're doing another noob guide. This time it's for Ghostface. So we're going to look at his basic abilities, perks, powers, hints and tips, gameplay and we're going to do a bonus best recommendation at the end of the video for perks. Who's the best talk, Ghostface or Mikey? Comment below let me know. Okay, so Ghostface, he is from the Scream franchise. He's available on the DLC. So we're going to look at his three teachable perks. So his first perk is Thrill and Tremors, one of the best perks in the game, for, in my opinion. So after picking up a survivor, all the generator has not been repaired or blocked by the entity for 16 seconds. Generator's block will be higher than white. There is a cooldown of 1860, but this is a great perk for information as well as trend slowdown. So you can see the generator's higher than white, nobody's working on them. I'm all ears, so any survivors performing a rushed action within 48 metres from your location will have their aura revealed for 6 seconds. Cool down there, 60, 50 and 40. Again, another great pair for ending chases quicker, basically. So, survivor does a fast vault or any fast action, and you can see that aura, so you can try to get around any mind games and try to finish that chase early to get your job done and get your kills and move on. Furtive Chase, so this is an obsession perk, so when your obsession is hooked, you receive a token. You get up to a maximum of two, three or four tokens. Each token reduces your terror, ra terror radius by four meters whilst you're in a chase. So, his powers. So Ghostface's powers is all around the thing called Nitro. So it involves, it's got two aspects to it. The first one is a stalking ability, and all these I'm going to talk in more details later on in the video. Um, the second one is for crouching, so people might go, why does he need a crouch? It's not to teabag with the survivors, although that is sometimes fun to do, depending if you've got any toxic players or not. Um, but the main thing is, it's to hide and be able to have a full stalk ability. So let's have a look at his basic stats. So it's 4.6 meters per second is his speed, only 3.6 when you crouch. Terror radius is 32 meters. So when you've got a Nitro activate, you've got zero terror radius, you've got the ability to stalk survivors, you have to get 100 stalk points, you get 20 stalk per second, just general stalk, and 40 when you're leaning out and looking. So that's where it comes in handy. So if you look, you can stalk from behind somewhere and lean out, and it's going to be a lot quicker in, find, in stalking that survivor. Survivors who are stalked are exposed for 45 seconds, so you can down in one shot. Performing a basic attack will remove the shroud. If a survivor looks at you for 1.5 seconds, that will remove your shroud. Now, if you're revealed, it's going to deactivate an eye shroud for 30 seconds. If you are revealed by a survivor, the killer instinct will come on and that will show for two seconds. So I'll show you what killer instinct is. So straight away, it's telling me that someone is trying to break me out my store and it's giving me a direction and try to hide. And that's the killer instinct. So I can see for two seconds who it is that's broke me out and go get my revenge. So, more information about it, so Ghostface, he can be revealed up to 32 metres away from a survivor. At least 20% of your body must be seen to reveal, hence why you have the ability to crouch. Audio cue will play to warn you about reveal, so that gives you the indication you need to go hide, and the terror radius fades back in at 10 metres per second. So in regards to tips and tricks for Ghostface, the first one is Night Shroud immediately. As soon as the game starts, go into Night Shroud, you're undetectable, gives you an advantage. Lean where possible, so like I said, your stalk rate is twice as quick if you're leaning. Crouch to hide your body, so you make it harder to reveal yourself to survivors, or for them to reveal you even. Be careful when activating Nitro, especially when hooking. I've done it a million times myself, so be careful of the line of sight and be mindful of it, so you don't get exposed, uh, revealed by somebody who's hooked. Stalk, again, get up to 99%, like how I recommended for Michael Myers to make it easy for the kill when you're closer and use a nitro to hide your red stain for mind games so when you activate nitro zero terror radius zero red stain so it's going to be hard for that survivor to keep track of you so we'll go into gameplay and show you and backwater swamp is where it'll be um, and first thing I'm going to do yes I'm going to put my nitro on I've got an object of obsession so I'm going to go over over there gives me indication straight where survivors are now with an object of obsession she can't see where i am because i'm in my nitro now i can see her she will have an indication her object of obsession icon will be lit to tell that i'm looking at her but she might not notice that so i'm going to try to lean and get a quicker so i can see a little bit of a backside there and you can see at the bottom left i have got her out of uh, i've got her exposed I meant the 99 at there, so unfortunately, so I'm all these is kicked in because she's done a fast vault. Um, 
so hence why she's shown as red she's going to vault through here so that's I'm all ears again I'm going to be able to see it when she goes round uh, and I've got a certain amount of time while that's activated to find her now I've only got 45 seconds to down her as well so I need to end this chase quickly uh, she can see me unfortunately through these, this shack but right she's messed up there so I'll get her here so I'll get her down and that's my obsession down so I'm going to get a token for fair to chase as well unfortunately it looks like three other survivors must have spawned next to each other because they've done that generator already so that was pretty quick uh, so we'll get her hooked up Thrill and Tremors is telling me that no one is on a generator so I'm presuming the survivors are to my left so let's go over there see if we can find them so I haven't got nitro out yet oh there's David so I'll then stick my nitro out and try to lean on um, being next right so someone's revealed me it's a Nia so we we'll get a hit now if you notice David is half stocked in the bottom left you can see his gauge is half full um, so that means she's going to a dead zone, she's going to die now. Uh, so that means basically unless I hit him, then next time I stalk him, I'm going to be able to only have to stalk him for half the time, uh, just to fill that gauge up. So we'll get her hooked up. I'm surprised that other person hasn't been freed yet. I don't know what's happening with her. Uh, right, now I'm out of sight from the person who's been hooked, now I can go into my night route again. Now I know there's someone on that generator up there because I've missed a skill check. Uh, backwaters one, not ideal for stalkers, however, has got a lot of trees that can hide behind and try to... Uh, someone come in here? No. Right, oh, that person's killed herself, which is a shame. So, right, so I can see, yep, I can see near there, so I'm trying to stalk. Now she's hit, so now I know where all survivors are. There's two behind me, just over there, and there's one in front of me. So let's go. She's not going to let me stalk her, so I'm just going to go straight for the hit. And as soon as I hit her, that's it, my night shroud's gone. So we'll give chase to her. So now my terror radius will be 32 meters again. Right, she bolted through that window. I don't know what the hell I'm swinging at there. Uh, right, so she must she must have quick and quiet because I never heard her vault through. So we'll see. I think we get the hit here unless she's got dead out. Yeah, she's down. Right, we'll get her picked up and now I will get use out of Thrill and Tremors. So I'll hopefully, if we're right on a gen, will let me know. No, all the gen's pretty secure. So it's all good. Right, we'll get her hooked up. Oh, they'll come and save her. Right. Let's see, so I'm going to go on Night Shroud again. Oh, I thought I'd seen someone over there, but it's uh, something shining. Right, so I know where they are because the crows have gone off. Right, so there's Dave. It's only a half stalk, this guy. So, let's stop. Right, okay, so what happened there? Um, I managed to still fully stalk him, however, he did try to reveal me. So I was hoping 99 and then get closer to him and to save a bit of a chase but as soon as it came up the killer instinct to warn me that he's looking at me if he'd have looked at me with it before I'd fully stalked him I wouldn't have been able to get the full stalk on there so that's fine we've got him down anyway so this generator was being worked and I thought it'd be a lot more advanced than this but we'll get a kick and then I can use the vantage point now to try to find the other survivor and get some stock. So I also don't want to put her off. I think it's a near left, isn't it? I don't want to put her off doing the rescue, but I do want to have a good look around. Hmm, not hiding. I'm a bit confused why the other two just killed themselves on hook, so I don't know that they had someone maybe hiding away quite a lot. Right. Now don't forget I'm in nitro as well, so I'm undetectable. But unless they see me, they're not going to know where I am. So let's have a look, see if we can get some stalk there, both of them there. So I'm only interested in stalking the near. She knows she's exposed because she's oblivious to where I am. Right, David, you know what, let's get this game ended. I know it's a bit shitty, he's just come off the hook, but it's a lost cause for them now. So they weren't helped by the fact that two people 
just killed themselves. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on the two people who killed themselves. Maybe they weren't coming for the save. But yeah, certainly hasn't helped the cause. So we'll get him hooked up. And then we'll hook the knee and that is this game over. Let's see if we can find where this knee is. Oh, I can hear her, I just can't see her. Right, let me kick this. I'm a bit worried about points now. Let me go and kick this gen. Yeah, Glenn, do you want to let me kick it? Thank you. Right. So, I know she's around here, it's fine. Oh, there yeah, she's there to my left. Right. We'll get her hooked up. Now, it was a relatively short game. Uh, however, the reason I put it in there is to really demonstrate everything that I've mentioned in the tutorial. So, I just want to show you a couple of things if it'll let me now. I'll show you an example of when someone's on a hook, so I'll go near her, hopefully she looks at me. Yeah. So, yeah, so you can see the sound came on, let me know. And also, I'm in Night Shroud, I hit something, and the Night Shroud starts to deactivate. 10 meters per second, it increases your terror radius by. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is go over the perks. Now, perks is a bit of a subjective issue for me because I always think it's about your play style. But people have mentioned it on comments. What about the perks? What should you use? So I'll mention what I use for Ghostface. So the first one I use is Pop Goes the Weasel. Excellent perk to, to slow down the generator progress. Corrupt intervention. So the idea is get a few generators blocked and push them towards my way so I can stalk them in regards to survivors. Nurse is calling, so when I hit them, get them injured. Um, I can see when they're healing. And the last one is Thrill and Tremors, of course, faces on one. I prefer this to barbecue and chili because it gives me a little bit of um, help in blocking the generators as well. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, if you did, drop it a like, drop me a comment, let me know which one's your favourite, Michael or Ghostface. Um, share the video and if you haven't already done so just press that subscribe button and keep up to date with all the other videos on my channel thanks guys